See, now this man, he building a rep for himself, and he wants you bad. The brutal shit, that's, you know, that's his calling card. Them bow tie wearing motherfucker from out of uh, NYC. Yeah, small dude. What'd he go by? Brother Mozon. We got good string versus bad string. It's no secret Stringer Bell is my favorite character in the entire series. But why do the smartest characters do the dumbest shit? I mean, this man couldn't get out of his way to save his own fucking life. I mean, literally, he was his own worst enemy. Not Avon, not Brother Muzon, not Omar, but Stringer Bell. Then he started doing grimy shit. I mean, let's keep it a buck. I was more mad about this than this. Get in the comment section, let me know if you agree. Once I saw this shit, I knew his ass was done done. Then you let Clay Davis mind fuck you. You ever been mind fucked before? I think so. I'm mind fucking you right now. You were ready to run? Me too, bro, I gotta hit the gym. I'm ready to run now. You know how foolish you sound? I know y'all see in Casino. Robert De Niro said it best. You see you being set up on the second win? I really you, Wait, you didn't see that you were being set up on the second win? String a bell getting that work today, y'all. But first, like always, Big Rich, tons more Wired content on the way. Help the channel out. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We got tons more Wired content on the way. Now let's go. As Lil Wayne would say, we make it rain. I make it rain, I make it rain, I make it rain. She. Clay Davis getting over on you for a quarter of a million dollars is some funny shit, bro. <laughs> Who the fuck hands over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars without having a lawyer check that shit out first? Especially a lawyer like Levy. He's a super gangster, yo. He looks for shit like this. Clay Davis Rainmaker. No, man, he, he got them building permits in no time at all, man. I mean, for bribing them off. There are no bribes. And then you got the nerve to ask Slim Charles to kill this man? After you fucked up? I need you to hit somebody. Who we hit? Clay Davis. The Clay Davis. Avon had to step in and shut that shit down. So you finna go hit a state senator now, huh? Yo, you kill a downtown nigga like that, the whole world gonna stand up and take notice. That nigga took our money, man. I seen it coming. Well, <laughs> he gotta go. Nah, you a fucking businessman. You wanna handle it like that. You don't wanna get all gangster wild with it and shit, right? what I tell you about playing them fucking away games? Fucking strength. Don't judge me, y'all. I'm on my McNulty shit tonight. I mean, Avon was making some questionable decisions too, but nothing compared to what Stringer Bell was about to pull. Russell, what were you thinking, bro? D'Angelo got that shit the worst. You were banging his shorty around his kid, knowing you were about to have him hit. Dirty work, String. It's hard to have sympathy for you after these fucked up moves. Then you throw that shit in Avon's face. Man stoking a head saying that uh, D'Angelo's death is no suicide. So? Man ain't wrong about that. What? Man. No, you couldn't do it. And put him in a position to carry that shit and lie to his sister for the rest of his life. Avon, this is blood. Family. I know it. And I'm telling you that someone may have done this to us, Avon. To our family. The cops just saying that shit. To mess with your head. Exactly. I can't lie, y'all. Season three is just as good as season one. I know we love season four with the kids and shit, but season three to me, that shit is a masterpiece, just like season one. Also, this is where you lost Avon. This right here is the moment where the love died. Avon preached one thing above all, and that's family. This was his code, family above all. Like Bunk said, all men must have a code. A man must have a code. 
Looking back at it, I believe when Brother Mazone came in, if Avon still had love for String, he would have fought harder to save his life. How can we fix it? You want money? Money? Yeah, this is business. A couple weeks ago, I did a video highlighting Avon and Stringer's relationship, and I wasn't defending String. String deserved to catch a bullet. My only issue was Avon giving him up. Well, get on with it, motherfucker. Avon should have took that shit in his own hands. I don't know if we got any Sopranos fans in the building. Tony Soprano had to give up his cousin, Tony B. And he refused to do it. So what did he do? He took that shit in his own hands so his cousin wasn't captured and tortured and mutilated. Would Avon have been okay with Stringer being captured and tortured? I mean, think about that shit. Now, I'm not defending Stringer Bell's actions here at all. He deserved to go. I just wanted to see Avon handle that shit himself. Keep that shit in-house. Keep that shit amongst family. What's crazy is Stringer Bell knew Avon gave him up. Right here this moment. Look at his eyes. Time y'all meet Time uh, 12, uh, I think. Well. He knew something was up when Avon asked him this question. On top of pissing off Avon, he also managed to double cross and betray the two most lethal motherfuckers on this show. <laughs> Sorry, Chris and Snoop. What'd he go by? Brother Mozon. Like, why would Omar trust you? Why do you think when Omar caught up to Brother Muzon, he wasn't going to interrogate him or ask him questions? It's not like you and him was cool. Y'all both wanted each other dead. So best believe Omar's radar was up. And your plan almost fucking worked. About a year ago, a boy named Brandon got got here in Baltimore. Stuck and burned before he passed. A year, you say? <laughs> you got some wrong information. Man, you lying to live. I'm at peace with my God. I come on, String, you did all this bullshit to yourself. And it sucks, too, because your character had so much potential. In just two years, you had that good product, not to mention you formed the co-op. Oh, fuck the meat. You harder to get at than my fat wife's cunt, nigga. You also helped your mans get out of prison. I think String liked the taste of being number one. When Avon was in the joint, he didn't have to answer to nobody. He could make any move he want without being questioned. He enjoyed that shit. It ain't right for you to be at the head of our table when you can't call off your dub. Call it a crisis of leadership. Anyway, just having fun with it. We're almost at the 500 subscriber mark. So if you like this shit, if you fucked with it, help the channel out and hit that subscribe button. And if you're messing with this, check out some of the other work, y'all. It helps the channel out. Big Rich, like always, thanks so much for watching. String a bell, you gotta do better, bro. <laughs> I'll see y'all next time.